And we back. We've done a few videos on this channel where I sit back and just simulate until certain things happen. We did a video where I simulated until the Chicago Bulls won a championship. And by that time, I had a big beard and it was great. We simulated until the Knicks won a championship. And I don't remember how long that took, but I'm going to go out on the limb and say that took a while. I wonder how long it will take for a team with a bunch of 60 overalls to finally get to the promised land and win a championship. I hope you are ready for a lot of simulation because this might be long. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new. I feel like I be saying that and nobody be listening. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new. Let's get into it. So we've gone through a couple different cycles of um, auto-generated rookie names, right? And Donnie Roth is the current one. I don't know how long Donnie Roth is gonna, gonna last, but he's here. As you can see, if you look at contracts, all of these players have different contracts because I wanted it so that these players, like whoever's rebuilding this team, the real GM of this Orlando Magic team, has some work to do. If everybody was on the one-year deal, then boom, the Orlando Magic have all the money and free agency they can go sign a superstar player. I want them to suffer and have to make right trades and signings, right? So you're asking, Kenny, how did you come up? With the total, okay, there's a couple in here that I didn't, I didn't touch. But how did I determine that this dude is getting three years, 24 million, or three years, 28 million, or some players getting a hundred million dollar contract? Y'all know I always make things way more complicated than it has to be. There's this generator mix. You tell them how many players you want. I say six, and then I was going, I would get rid of the rookie players, players on rookie contracts. So in this case, one of the Donnie Ross would have got Chris Paul type of deal. One would get a Tomas Sadoransky type of deal. And one would get a Val Nijunas type of deal. It was Is that too much work for no reason? Yeah, but it's a it's a KLT 4Q video. So I would expect this team that has a two, ooh, 263 overalls. Them boys might be hooping. I would expect for this team to not win a single game. And if they do win a game, whatever team they beat needs to disband. Because you're losing to a team that can barely put up 80 points. Oh, they put up 90 on the Knicks. I don't, I don't know. Maybe 0-82 is not a thing. Maybe it is. This is where things get interesting. This draft stuff. And you know what I just realized? I still have control of the team when I should have. Because a very good draft, getting the first overall pick and getting the next generational talent can really turn this around and, and speed up the process. But the chances of, A, you getting the first overall pick even when you have the worst record is what, like 14%. And then how often do they have generational talents in 2K22's draft class? They don't have it that often. So you got to get lucky. Here are all the awards for year number one. I'm not going to spend too much time because I'm just assuming that we're going to go through that type of screen 10 times, 15 times, 30 times. What if we get to the point, you know 2K has a limit, right? X, you can only play this amount of seasons. What if it goes that long? Yes, 0-82 is right. Um... They lost by an average point. The point differential was minus 56. The best player on the team was, of course, uh, Donnie Roth. He averaged eight and 8.5. 8. Ooh, Donnie Roth was better than Donnie Roth. 8.5 is the, the most that you got. And he shot 27% from the field. Yeah. If, if Adam Silver cared about his league, he would give us the first overall pick. If he cared about our league. You know what? Oh, man, they sold a total of zero tickets all season long, y'all. Zero tickets all season long. So they decided to sell the team to Pittsburgh. Oh, Magic fans don't like that. But listen, I, I basically tanked your franchise anyway. So I guess we are the Pittsburgh. I don't even know. I didn't even look at it. Pittsburgh Force, maybe? Is that what it said? Force, yes. We even got Steeler colors. Okay. We, the, which makes that worse is that the reason I picked Orlando because they have zero championships. And now I was like, you know what? They eventually go get one in this video. But now that we film it, I'm like, nah, forget about it. Forget about the Orlando Magic. We're going to Pittsburgh and getting the second overall pick. Now, I am not going to the actual draft. I will just simulate and we, we will see what type of draft pick they get with number two pick. And they got a 70, 74 overall player. Why would you tell this dude he can't come hoop? He would be your second best player on the organization. Um, so bring him in. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to be doing nothing. I'm not supposed to be. It's not up to me. My fault. My fault. I'm so used to bringing teams to the promised land. I completely forgot that I'm not supposed to be doing something. So we got the second overall pick and ended up being somebody that's in the low 70s. That's not great. The, but we got a good draft and stats, though. Second round picks. Draft and stats is better than the actual dude. And that's it. 
um, because we had so many people in the contract, well, we did, we weren't able to go out to sign anybody, not even one person, not a, not a 70 overall from free AC, nah. But if this rookie, let's see what this rookie's name is again. If this rookie, oh, we got Willie Colley Stein. We got Anthony Gill. We got Alfred Payton. When did that happen? That wasn't there just a couple seconds ago, right? Um, second round pick. Look at them picking people up in free agency. So if Sean um, um, Schultz, who we gave a two-year deal to, or the former second overall pick don't put up crazy stats and win rookie of the year, they bugging. Why would you sign Willie Cauley Stein at 29 years old on the minimum and give him the starting job over the guy you invested a second overall pick to? I don't know. It's not my team. But wait a minute. First of all, I'm not supposed to be the one deciding. I'm not supposed to be the one deciding. But you see, them boys went on and won their first game of their franchise history. Donnie Roth. What? What? He went from eight points per game to 20. I mean, the man took all of the shots, basically. But they won their first game in franchise history. They did something that the Orlando Magic couldn't even do. Gary Payton, not Gary Payton, I wish, Alfred Payton with a big game. Um, these are the type of stats that, that, that Luke was putting up. Do you, do you see? Okay, you do see. Um, rookie of the year went to Bob Russell. Look at that. Alternate universe Bill Russell was here. 6'11 out of, I can't even see what college, it doesn't tell you what college he's coming from. But it wasn't one of our rookies. Even though Sean did put up good stats, nah. And same thing with Daryl. I don't even remember getting Daryl. And then the actual second overall pick was trash. He's bad. What a waste. Um, okay. So they did win more than one game. Now, I didn't pause it to show you because I keep having to remind myself they were probably going to be simulated for years and years and years. I'm um, for Payton average about 18 points per game. But in year number two, nine wins. The reverse Golden State Warrior thing. Minus 22. If I'm not mistaken, that is still the worst win percentage in NBA history. Well, wait, wait. Let's go back to it. The worst win percentage in NBA history. But... We now hold the record for the two worst seasons in NBA history. We're getting better, though. There's one thing you got to admit. We are getting better every single season. Now, can we win the lottery? We we, we fall to number four. Not ideal. Not ideal, but you might be able to, to... This is what I've learned. You never want to be the worst team in 2K. 74. Oh, we had a the seventh overall pick, too. So, 74 and 76. And then we had the draft and stash duel come over. Ooh, uh-oh, it's maximum three players. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not the one making those decisions. But um, you never want to have the lowest or the highest odds because they never give it to you. The NBA is anti-tank at this point, at least in a game of 2K. They want you to be the second and third worst team in the league so you can jump up to number one So, because because at least you tried a little bit more. Wendell Carter, the first signing of the video is Wendell Carter. He's coming back to the organization. Now, we're not in Orlando anymore, but he's coming back to the organization. Sean got better. This is a guy we just drafted. The first, what was this, a second overall pick? He is bad. And that's it. We got CJ Bellamy. But for the most part, Wendell Carter is our best acquisition of all time, which is great. Now, if he don't come in and average 20 and win, wait, let's, let's see what he was averaging before he got here. He was averaging 12. Okay, he was averaging 12. If this man don't have... Oh, we got Larry Nance on the team too now. If this man don't average 20 plus with this weak old team, I'm disappointed in you, Wendell. We got Kobe White? What is happening? When did he get here? When did Kobe... Kobe White was not just here. I would have saw him. <laughs> I would have... They just picked bro up a, ga a day before the first game on a minimum contract. And he about to go. He about to spaz. Two former Bulls, baby. How long before we get our first win of the season? If we are worse than we were last year. They're, oh, my God. What a win streak. Ooh, what a win streak. Wendell. Big game. Then we got um, um, Webb. Kyle Webb. I hope that some people in here end up being KOT4Q classic players. You know, those some auto-generated players end up being so good in one of these videos that he's forever and in, in, in shined. Is that the word? He's forever remembered. And our, the lore of this channel. I hope that happens today. We were not the worst team in the league. That is progression. Kobe White won most improved. Okay, we thought it was going to be Wendell, but it's going to be the guy that's that's handling the ball more. 20 points per game, 5 assists, 4 rebounds. 13th seed got us the record of 
um 29 wins so we went from zero wins to to nine wins to 29 wins wow that's what window carter can do to your organization they, they are oh we got sin goon we traded for sin goon halfway through the season hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on what trades did we do i'm doing all of this and none of it we got rid of sean schultz he led us in score last year didn't he we got a first round pick in sin goon though so maybe that's a good trade i don't know um they had Larry Nance running a three, which I just absolutely don't like. He averaged three points in a starter row. Oh, was six points in a starter row. They should have let Stevie Cousins, um, Demarcus's nephew, uh, start. But nope. All right. So not the playoffs, obviously. Now, watch. We have one of the worst records in the league, but not the worst record in the league. Let's see how the draft lottery um, holds up. Because I'm telling you, bro, it's a system. You got to play the system. So we have the, the fifth highest odds. And we end up with a fourth pick. Okay, so we jump up one. Which, thanks. With, uh, that's cool. Oh, man. What did I get myself into? All right. Another guy that doesn't like he's going to do anything. 75 overall rookie. One of these dudes better blossom. Or we just need to we just need to hit the lottery in the right year. I, I legit think the video changes course once you hit the lottery. And, okay, so Kyle Webb is getting better. That's good to know. Cousins, seventh overall pick, didn't even get better. What, we're fourth overall pick this year. Where's the dude? Didn't we have another fourth overall pick guy? We don't even... We had the second overall pick the first year of this video. He's gone. He's gone. Like, he's gone, gone. We just let him go. Because he was bad. We missed. <laughs> we missed on that pick. All right. Well, we got Mobamba and Sengun. Um... Is that Jason Preston? It is Jason Preston. Okay. All right. Slowly but surely. We only have two more Donnie Roths on the team. And then we would have like real NBA quality players. Guys, we regressed, man. 24 wins. Back to worse in the entire league. Not the not the best thing that could have happened. We have been in the lottery now for four years in a row. And we haven't hit on anybody. Anybody. Not one of them. Now we have the, whoa, pick galore. Um, we got it. And then we fall to number four. You see what I mean? Never be the worst team in the league, bro. Never be the worst team in the league. How the heck did we get all those picks? I mean, that's fire. That's, that's, a, that's a dub if you ask me, but how? So we traded Wendell Carter for Daniel Gafford. And that's, that's it. We signed Josh Hart, Seth Curry for small contracts. And we traded Wendell. I feel bad about that. Our three best players are all centers. Who's running this team? Who the heck is running this team? What are they doing? And now we're going back to the NBA draft with a bad pick that we're going to miss on. 75, another one. 74. <laughs> Ev I'm telling you, eventually, eventually things are going to work out in our favor. I feel it in my bones. Feels it in my bones. I'm talking about winning the championship, bros. We ain't even been close to making the playoffs. We gave Dante DiVincenzo a three-year, about $50 million deal. And that's pretty much it. Um, we, we got Norman Powell, who we just traded for, I think. And he's still making $20 million. But if I'm looking at my books correctly, if I'm looking at my books correctly, we're in a good spot to, to spend some money soon. We need to convince some people to come here. We lost Sengun. Everybody that we've drafted other than Kyle Webb looks like they're like leaving after one or two seasons. We just not we're not even picking up on second options because well, why would we? These guys are bad. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the postseason for the first time in franchise history. Well, the first time since moving to Pittsburgh. We are in the playoffs. I mean the, the postseason. We gotta win a couple games to get into the playoffs. We are in the postseason. Don't ask me how. I don't even I don't even know. They had to do a trade or some signage or stuff because the team that I showed you last was the last team I I looked at. James Wiseman signed a one year one point eight million dollar deal. But other than that, this team is so bad. This team is so bad, but we made it as the eighth seed. Wiseman, 22 points per game. Bring him back next season. Kyle Webb is the only dude that's turned into any like he came into the league. He's been shooting efficiently. I was my fault, Kyle. I jumped the gun early. You actually are a good NBA player. My fault. Now, will you be a superstar? Probably not. But you average 20 points per game on a team that won enough games to at least make the postseason. Okay. All right. Washington versus Pittsburgh. They got Kyrie and Wendell's looking for his revenge. 
can they do it? I think they got the rookie of the year on their team. We lose. But it's steps. It's baby steps, baby. You feel me? It's, it's steps. K Cunningham and company is a seventh seed. Look, they were the seventh seed. They were just in the plan. If they won a championship, that could be us. That could be us. The Marty Rose just retired with the Raptors. That's a W. Okay. So we made the pl play in, but we still got Denver's pick that could turn into something, but it won't. Because. Wait. Our second pick jumped up, though. Well, that second pick was, like, projected to be number 10 or 11, and it jumped all the way up to 4. So that's a W. But the, the Denver pick, projected to be number 1, fell to number 4. Whoever's running this team need to package them, them pieces together to get the first pick. They don't be watching the channel, bro. If you watch the channel, that would be what you're doing. But no. Nah. And they keep drafting people that are 21 and older. Can y'all cut it out? Like, why are we drafting these dinosaur of, of NBA prospects? If he ain't 19 or 20, don't draft him. Now, watch one of those players end up being goaded. I have no idea. Um, this year, we ended up picking up TJ Warren in free agency. Three years, $52 million for the 32-year-old. And some progression from some other dudes. But for the most part, I mean, if we can match last year's success, I'm happy. Well, they were back being bad. 14 seed and the Raptors just won a championship with Cole Anthony being the best player. Okay, back to the draft lottery we go. This time around, second best odds. Second pick. We will never we will never get that covered at number one. And oh, he's 23. Why is he 23 already? What the heck? He got a family and kids, bro. He is so old. Why is it why do they keep drafting these super old players and thinking they gonna turn into something? It has not worked for the first seven years of this video. I looked at my watch like I was keeping track there, but no. For the first seven years of this video, it hasn't Okay. Wesley Macy, 13 points per game last year for... He had to make an all-rookie team. I must have just looked past that. All-rookie first team last season. He's He was a 21-year-old rookie. I, maybe I'm wrong. No. No, I'm not. 21 is acceptable, I guess. When you start drafting people that are 23, Mr. Darnell, that's when you get in trouble. Jeremy Grant is here. Can y'all sign somebody with a max... Con Why is Mo Bamba getting $100 million contracts on this team? Can y'all go use that money and go sign somebody for the max, please? Seven years in, no success, one postseason appearance, no p playoff appearance. Y'all got to do something, dog. Cause this team ain't this team ain't cutting it. This team is not cutting it at all. I just I just want to say I just want to say I simulated past one season that I didn't show y'all because I was like, ah, oh, we've been filming for such a long time. I don't need to show y'all every year. We are the two seed. I swear to God, I simulated through free agency and every, I didn't even check to see what happened. And I'm not going to until the end of the year. I'm not going to stop this momentum. This team is the one seed right now. They were just d dead last. They were dead last. And now they're fighting for home court advantage throughout the entire conference. What the heck just happened? Now, they, it don't like they got it. But two seed is still three seed. Thanks. As soon as I start talking. That's still incredible for this team. Um... I don't even know where to start. What team are we again? We are the Pitts Pittsburgh Force. Pittsburgh. All NBA, nobody. All defensive, nobody. Rookie, nobody. How the heck did this team? They got John Collins. They they got they got Bob Russell. Bob Russell is here. He is the reincarnation of Bill, even though Bill is not passed away. Shout out to Bill. He's about winning. Cause he's Bill Russell. But Bob, he's Robert Russell. He's won rookie of the year in 2013, uh, 2023. John Collins, Macy, who has been good. Bob Russell, Josh Primo, who even though he's 26, his face ain't grew up with him. So he's still 18 in the face. Wiseman at 28, who his face is aging too fast, if you ask me. Oh my God, Darnell, we were making fun of you last year. What did you do? 23-year-old rookie. Form a second overall pick. Yeah, you know I'm saying? he ain't doing nothing. He ain't really doing much. But Nick Richards. What? Okay. Number three seed going against the Philadelphia 76ers. I'm all grins because I cannot believe this team is doing this. They got De'Aaron Fox, Quentin Grimes, Sadiq Bay, and Joel Embiid is still there. But he's old, so he's only 85 overall. Game one, we lose. Game two, we win. Game three, we win. Game four, we lose. Five, we win. 
We're on to the second round to go against. I'm guessing Giannis is still here. He is not. Kevin Porter Jr., Jalen Suggs, Zinni Abdiya, Josh, uh, Jonathan, Isaac, and Clint Capella. Oh my God. Come on, boys. Can we make a finals run? 01, 02, 03, 1, 2, 3. Ah, what a. Oh my God. Stop it. Stop it, Pittsburgh. From down 03, I've never seen it before. It's Mr. Bob Russell. <laughs> Come on, man. Going against the Washington Wizards. Going against the Washington Wizards. Kyrie, Jordan Poole, guy's name who I don't know how to pronounce, Window Carter, Alperin Sengun. Two of those players used to play for us, and we traded them both away. Game one is a Pittsburgh win. Two is a loss. Three is a win. Four is a win. We are in the NBA Finals. Jalen Noel let the one? <laughs> Stop it. Cam Johnson, Desmond Bain, they got Jaron Jackson Jr. and Jokic, though. That's that's the thing. Jaron Jackson Jr. and Jokic. <sighs> Game one of the NBA Finals. We win. Game two of the NBA. Okay. Okay. 2-2. Two, two. 3-2, y'all know we got a Simcaster, my boys. We got the Simcaster. This team is not going to win the championship. We have no business being in the NBA Finals right now. I will say that. We lost. This team... Round of applause. Round of applause. There's no, there's no reason they should have been there. There's no reason they should have been there. Now, yes, I would have liked to win it, but they didn't. That's all right. I came here because I wanted to make it so 18-year-olds could come to the league. I was so tired of them drafting people that were 70 years old. So I'm turning that back off. Um, draft lottery, we won't have our pick because, you know, <laughs> we basically were NBA champions. Um, the, clo the closest thing to an NBA champion without being an NBA champion is somebody that lost in the NBA Finals. So... We were, two, we were, what, two games away? Three games away from being champions. I personally do not believe they're going to match that. <laughs> I'm being honest. Um, but the core is still intact. So maybe they do. Uh, well, that was a big fall off. 11 C didn't even make the play in. Jason Tatum is a clipper and he won finals MVP. Um, that's a disappointing season. And we end up with the ninth pick, which is not ideal. So I, f I feel like... There's no real reason for me to show you every single season at this point. I will show you the super highs if we get to that point. And if it's really bad and we get like the first overall pick, I count that as a high. Um, but at this rate, I do not, like I said at the end of last season, I didn't feel like our team was going to be back in that position. Look at, look at all these 70 overall players. This team is not ready for that. This team, believe it or not, I'm going to say this, which is crazy because we just won the championship like... Or not won the championship. Was in the championship like a season ago. This team needs to draft a superstar. And right now we're too good to get the first pick. And not good enough to get back to the finals. Which is a weird place to be. Because I don't know man. We be having the money and stuff. But they don't be. They not spending it. I mean they spent it to re-sign John Collins. But that's not enough. This is what I mean. The Indiana Pacers won the lottery in 2000. 24 and they got uh karam baker who is a literal 99 overall player putting up 38 points per game he won mvp now we were the 13 seed so like hopefully it can happen look when you have that much talent oh they're the seventh seed never mind i was about to say when you have that much talent even if it's just one person that can be good enough to make you work but i guess not uh devin book wins finals mvp here we go back to the lottery this is the year we have the Fourth highest odds in the third pick. Okay, y'all. So we are in the, I don't even know. What year are we in? 2035. We're in 2035, and the team hasn't even made the playoffs since, what am, I do, what am I doing here? They haven't made the playoffs since the last time I showed y'all we made the playoffs. They haven't even really, really been close. 11th is the closest we've got so far. We're in for a long, long, long simulation period, y'all. I mean, let me show you what the team looks like now because I think it's been three to four seasons since we last showed. So we have uh, uh, Francis Matthews, 
former second overall, uh, second round pick, and he is, we just traded for him, I guess. Uh, he's the best player at an 84. Josh Primo is still here. We keep paying him one year, 38 million left on his contract. It's rough out here, y'all. Still haven't, even though we've been in the lottery, still haven't even came close to getting the first overall pick. We're always either five or way below that. You know, this year we were like number 10, and I just, I am hurt out here, bro. You feel me? The championship run gave our fans some hope that things are going to be better. And, and they might be. Once you look at that. As of right now, based on the first month or two of the season, it looked like we're in the playoffs this year. Yay, play in. Woo, we thought we were solid, but we turned out not to be. You love to see it. Woo, these are great. Here in, we lost really quick. Woo, these are great. Okay, so we end up being the ninth seed again. Here we go. From play in to NBA champions. Here we go. We got to win two games. We don't. I'm so sick to my stomach. This is the type of prospect we're missing out on. Yes, his counting stats as a rookie were not great. 13 points per game, 10 rebounds, 4 assists. Shooting splits are eh. This man is an 84 overall 19-year-old center. This dude is about to be Wilt Chamberlain-esque. And we just got the, we got the fourth overall pick that season. I don't even know what they turned it into. 14th. 14th. 14th in the conference. We're in 2040. We've been simulated for 20 years almost. And we have two playoff appearances, one finals appearance, and, and Evan Mobley is retiring. We've been, this dog is a rookie right now. We've been simulated for so long that he has gone through his entire career and made the Hall of Fame. Shout out to him. And made the Hall of Fame. And we still can't... We traded our pick away? Oh, no. Let me see what this team looks like. If you trade in your pick away and you steal at the bottom... Something ain't right. They got a 31-year-old Francis Matthews, who we saw, but he's probably gone because he's at last year of his contract. Jeremy J. 5'9. 5'9 Jeremy James. That's my boy. Um Yeah. Okay, 20-year-old. This might be the guy we drafted last year. Fifth overall pick. He had a good rookie season, though. So maybe. Maybe. But man, bro, we are so behind the A-ball. Com like compared to everything else that's going on around the league. Now, what I have what I can say, look at the overalls in the league. There is some parity. You just need, look, the best, we only have 590 plus overall players in the entire league right now. There's parity. You just need to get the, get a solid, you just need a solid team, bro. And, and then let the rest ride. We got like nine players below 75. If y'all don't use that money and sign some players or trade all the picks away, I'm tired. Oh, okay. All right. But we didn't have a pick this year. So we got this guy out of high school, second round pick, Michael Duncan. But... We're in a rough spot, man. This is the perfect time to be winning championships because nobody is great. Everybody's just average. Except for us, who, as you can see, is below that. It happened. They won the... They got the first overall pick. If this draft does not have an absolute stud in it, I'm going to be upset. Hall of Fame ceiling. Hall of Fame ceiling. He is 6'7". Gerald Nicholson. If you don't draft that boy... They're going to they're gonna draft this dude. I, if you don't... Okay, he looks like he is the consensus number one pick. If I go to rookie signings and I don't see Nicholson... 82 overall, 20 badges. Here's the, here's the turn. Here's the turning point of the video. Oh, that feels so great that we finally... After, tw after 18 years in the lottery... Think about that. 18 years in the lottery, we finally finally got the first overall pick and they paired him with this guy who's 21 this is a duo to be reckoned when in four seasons we've even the michael duncan dude is getting slightly better all right okay i'm, I'm feeling great y'all i'm feeling good i was down I, we have been recorded for almost two hours i was i was down but now we are back in the swing of things do we have money we okay we're over the salary cap somehow i guess every team is because we're late this late in the video but like Man, I just want them to hit a splash of free agency, let Nicholson do his job and go crazy, start the 5'9 guy at shooting guard. I love to see that. And just just let it be let it be known that we are the future. Look at the new GOAT. My boy won rookie of the year. Numbers is looking great. I don't care about it. I don't care about nothing else. And we're the ninth seed. 
you know, we, we might be able to make a playoff run. Can you imagine? He immediately comes in and turns the franchise around. We lose. But it's, it's about it's baby steps. Next year, with him getting better, us having another lottery pick that we about to, we about to get two first overall picks in a row. Watch this. Watch this. Because when it rains, it pours. You know, so we're going to have the odds. Wait. We have Phoenix's pick. We got our pick at 12. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, man. Oh, okay, it was protected. So Phoenix keeps it. We got number 12. So I was about to say, boy, that would be crazy, wouldn't it? Okay. All right. Player progression. If he ain't jumping up three, four, I'm going to be upset. If he's not jumping up three or four, I'm being upset. He rookie of the year. Led us to a postseason appearance. Three or three or four. Three or four jump up. Or five. 87. 33 badges. Okay. Can now, can we get him some help? Por favor. We signed a center. Why did you sign a center? Who is controlling this team? You got Allen Landry, bro. He's doing all right. Why are we signing a center? Look at this team. We got like eight players. What the heck? All right, bro. Y'all better sign some people with that minimum that's like solid enough to play for us. Okay. Eight seed now. Slow progression, ladies and gentlemen. It's not a race. We got the most improved player. Who are you? It's the guy we signed and I was talking trash. Look at him. He went from, he jumped up less than one point per game, but he got more rebounds and stuff. His per 36 or worse. <laughs> he just started now and that was all it took. Okay. All right. All right. So AC, we need to win a game to prove that we deserve it. And we got 19 and seven for our, our star player. All right. We need to win a game to prove that we deserve it. And we do. Now we're going against Detroit. All right, it's all about getting to this moment. They got a 96 over. Okay, we're at the point now where I'm not going to know anybody. We're 20 plus years into the future. 23 years to the future. So I'm not going to know anybody. Um, Please fight. 2-2. Two, two. Upset? Nope. I'm uh, I'm the upset one. <laughs> not the Detroit Pistons. That's fine, though. That's fine. Just as as we continue to let bro, bro do his thing. Um... No way! Come on! This is perfect. Please have a stud. Okay, not as great as the other dude, Hall of Fame ceiling, but, you know, we could use a wing player. Uh-oh. Every draft place has somebody different, it looks like. Okay, so no, Dean, a Freddie Dean is number one, and then these people have this guy who, please don't draft the draft as that's due. Okay, all right, it's not the best draft out of the first overall pick, but it's that's okay. We need We just need bodies, man. He's an 81! That's great! That's great. He's an 81. Okay. All right. All right. Come on. Come on. Oh, wait. Go to progression. Go to player progression. See how much um, uh, Nicholson gets better. And hopefully he's he's a stud. 93 overall player. He is instantly one of the best players in the league. If not... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Him being 93 means that he's probably like the fourth the fifth best player in the entire league. He is the third best player in the entire association. Okay. All right, we, we have a star. Can we please just, just get the rest around him? Just get the rest around him. I mean, every other star. Let's go look at the other 90 overall player. So he's got a... This guy's has a 90, but he's got 70s underneath him. I mean, what else we got? Um, 90, eight, 180, and a bunch of 70s. 90, couple 80s. Are we one of the best teams in the league? We have one, two, three, four, five people that are 80 plus. I mentioned... Um, home court event it's not a thing but that's fine there's another russell and this guy is bryant russell you need him on your team if you want to win so we have the six seed all nba team for our guy no huh a 96 overall player can't make an all nba team no i'm sorry 94 my bad i mean his splits are good it's he's shot tennis he's probably not high enough for it oh shot tennis is good i don't know he just didn't average a lot of points that's fine we are the six seed going against the milwaukee bucks it's cool not to have to play in to get in all right, so they... Well, I don't know why I'm doing this. Why am I looking to see who do they have? Because I'm not going to know anybody. Milwaukee, one is a win for six seed. Lose game number two. Come on, we can make a run. We can make a run. We can make a run. Let's go. Second round. Want to get a two seed. Do I, don't, I don't care who's on the team. You know what? What it is good for is to see the overalls of the opposing team. So it's 90 versus 90 and a bunch of role players. Okay. Um. Oh, no, that's the dude. Hold on. That's 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 him. That, this dude might go down in history as the greatest of all time. Um, because this dude had seasons where he was averaging 38 points per game. We talked about him earlier in the video. He might be the GOAT. 20 years pro. This might be his last season. 
Um, so this is a good matchup. We have the better star star as far as overalls go. But again, he might be like MJ with the Wizards and still putting up crazy stats even though he's, oh, one seed. We took out the two seed. We took out the three seed. Now it's time to tackle the monster of them all. And that's that big dude, Mr. Armstrong. Mr. Armstrong has won, if I'm not mistaken, like three MVP, maybe four MVP awards in his career. Four MVP awards in his career. Seven-time All-Star. All-NBA a bunch. Defensive awards. Game one is a loss. Game two is a win. We need a win, bro. There you go. 3-1. Three, three, we have been the underdog in every single series. Now we're going against the Mavs, who have no 90s. I get, let's go look at that Stevens guy. 17 points per game in the playoffs. Oh, this is the score. 26 per in the playoffs. Wow. I mean, that's pretty amazing for a guy that's an 82 overall. We're better. We're better than you. Game one, we win. Game two, we lose. Game three. Game four. Come on, one more. No way. No, we're, we're the better team here. We're the better team. Stop it, please, please. I cannot. We will not get back to this point for another 20 years if we don't win this right now. It's an overtime. We lost. We lost it. <laughs> we lost it, bro. 23 years in the future, and we still have not won a championship. Because we had the first overall pick dude on our team this year, but he was only an 81. I just got to hope he goes up better. Uh, Nicholson gets better. We have to believe in that core. We have to believe in that core. Nicholson is up, and Dean is up too. Okay. His badges aren't coming around, but Nicholson has 50 badges. You're the best in the league right now, my boy. You're the best in the entire league. Let's go win a championship, please. All right, all right, all right, all right. If we do not win a championship this year, I'm going to be so upset. I'm going to be so mad at us. Come on, man. All NBA first team for our guy. Um, all defensive first team, too. He clamps up. I'm so excited for this run. We are the two seed, y'all. We are the two seed. This is the highest seed we've ever been to. Philly, do you have anybody good? Not necessarily. Okay. All right. Never underestimate an opponent. We were y'all once upon a time. And we were trying to do some things. 2-0, 3-0, 3-1. I thought we swept them. All right. So now we're going back against Detroit. I think we beat y'all last time we played against y'all, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Defensive player to you in my butt. We, ain't, we, ain't, we don't really care about that. Here we go. Here we go. Game one, we lose. Two, we win. Three, we win. Four, we win. Come on. Come on, just one more game. Get out of there. Get out of there. Now I'm going against the Bucks. The Bucks um, have Andre Snow, who is kind of burly. You see, he's a little small fella, ain't he? All right, all right. They're starting at 70. We're starting at 70. Same positions. We have the league MVP on our team. Game one, we lose. They are the one seed. So I can't underestimate them. They were the best team in the conference by two games, and they're up by two games. Come on, fight. Back. And win please i am i'm legitimately begging for a another finals appearance please close this out thank you we have advanced to the finals only by three i am low-key sweating right now where's the other rookie guy or i guess he wasn't a rookie this guy he's up to 85 overall he averaged 15 the season and he's cranked it up in the playoffs just a little bit and we're going against the houston rockets okay This is the best team we've gone against. They have two 87s and an 85. They've done an amazing job building this team. Come on. I'm like nervous to even start the simulation. All right. Game one. We win. 41 points from Perry Battle. The point backup? Hold on. Are you a backup point guard? Oh, no. You're starting a shooting guard. Okay. I was going to say, does this man average an 11 assists off the bench? No, he's shooting. He's a shooting guard. Game two. We win. A 40 point, a 40 point win. Game three, we are up. Oh no, I didn't want to go SimCast live. We are up three to zero, y'all. Three to zero. One more, 
One more. I want to be there. We have simulated for so long that I have to make sure I'm there once we finally raise the Larry OB. Yeah. It looks like it's happening. It looks like it's happening. We are NBA champions. It only took 25-ish years. But we got there. Not we. I didn't do a thing. I didn't. I, I just relocated them way too early into the video. I didn't do a thing. But watch as greatness was created. It was fun. It was extremely fun. But the Pig Pittsburgh Force are NBA champions. That's amazing. And I would assume that we would have the... Yeah, you deserve this moment, my boy. You deserve this moment more than anybody. This is the worst organization in sports history until you got here. But I would assume that based on, based on the team that we have, that we've built, built, that we are in a place where we might be able to, to repeat. I'm not going to try it. I'm tired. I'm done. But they're in a position where they could repeat. I mean, look at, look at the game from, from uh, Nicholson. He did end up fouling out. But as my point guard to throw 35 up in a closeout game with zero turnovers, I'm just saying he was the GOAT. And he might go down in history as that. He averaged 32, 8, and 5 in the finals. And that was good enough for the... Oh, I want to see this guy's bona fide. Bona fide Hall of Famer. If you enjoy watching this video, be sure to leave it a like. Man, you had to enjoy it. You watched the entire thing. Ain't this a 40-minute video? You watched this whole thing? You had to enjoy it. Comment down below. Nicholson the GOAT. So I know you got to this point, And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.